Hello there everybody, I am Leo Wright, cartoonist extraordinaire of Leo Wright Studios. You can check out my tutorials on all of my social media platforms with lots of characters you may recognise. But here today we're going to do a very exclusive, simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy tutorial for you. I hope you've all got your pens, pencils and colouring equipment at the ready. It's time to start another epic drawing tutorial. Now we're going to be drawing one of my all-time favourite animals and I've drawn many llamas in my time because one of my main characters from my cartoons is Larry the Llama and Alan the Alpaca but right now we're going to be drawing a brand new llama direct from my imagination. So get a light pencil at the ready. I will be drawing in blue. This is just to separate it and make it easier for you to follow. So it's time to start pressing very lightly as we get started. We're going to start by drawing a very simple circle. Don't make this too small. This is going to mark out where our llama's head is going to go. We're going to draw a horizontal and a vertical line. This is going to mark out where his faces are. These lines are going to split it up into four very equal segments. Now, above the horizontal line, we're going to draw two big, cute, adorable eyes for the llama. And remember, the eyes are the keys to the soul. It's the most important part of any cartoon character. Now, I'm just going to draw two curved shapes upon the eyes, which are going to mark out the eyelids of our character. And just above those, we're going to add in the pupils. Now just below those two eyes we're going to draw a nice cute squishy circle which is going to be his nose. And from that nose, drawing a line, which all animals have a line from the nose down to their mouths. And then a nice big curvy smile. And from that smile, we're going to add another curve, yes lots of circles and curves in this one. This is going to make his mouth look like an orange segment. And yet another curve goes inside this segment to mark out his tongue. We can shade in the top part of this mouth. Don't ever be afraid to use a rubber and clean up your lines as you go, like I am here. Now llamas have big chubby cheeks, so we're going to slightly mould the shape of the circle. As you can see I'm doing here, make them more curvy. All good cartoon characters have these very rounded cheeks. Just take a look at Mickey Mouse himself. And from those cheeks, we're just going to bring it up to like make a bit of a forehead for him. And rub out those initial circle lines we made because we need to try and keep the paper as clean and as understandable as possible for our own convenience when drawing. go over any bits. Remember pressing very lightly. You don't want to be able to see these dodgy lines at the end. Just going to draw an eyebrow on each side. Those are very simple lines. But all llamas go to a very fancy hairdresser's. Yes. So we're going to add some amazing hair. Now I'm going to make this llama have spiky hair so it's going to look like we're drawing lots of blades of grass. So just going to bring up a straight line from those cheeks and add in some curvy hair. You're doing amazing. Now, all llamas have freckles of course. They like to suntan so they get sun kissed so we're going to add three dots on each cheek. This is going to make him look more cheeky, more cute. Now to mark out the llama's body, we're going to mark it out in lots of little circles. I'm going to use five circles, I'm going to mark out how his neck is and how his body is. We're going to just picture this as two sausage shapes. So now I've drawn those simple circles, still pressing very lightly, I'm going to go over them and march out and mould the rest of his body. And he's a very
very simple shapes that can make a more complex character. Now you can rub out those circles, they were just there for our guidance when drawing here. Now I'm going to draw in the spindly legs. Now, what's more cute on a character than a big chunky fluffy body and having very thin spindly legs? So just going to draw lots of little straight lines. Use a ruler if you want. Marking out where the legs are going to go. And not to forget, this is an animal. Most animals have a tail. So you're going to almost draw on a pom-pom squishy tail. Now as a cartoonist, we love to humanise a character. So I'm going to give this character a tie and a collar. Because I've decided this llama comes from the houses of Farmerland on his palm and he's the Prime Minister of his farm that he lives on. Now I'm going to draw some stripes on the tie. You can decorate him any way you wish. Don't restrict yourself to a tie. You could make him a disco llama, a spaceman llama, a farmer llama. Watch your drama llama. Okay, now that is looking very much complete on the pencil side of things. So I'm going to start inking it. Now for this, I recommend you get a medium sized thickness of pen, possibly a slightly thinner one to draw in the facial features, but we do not want to go too thin. It will look scraggly and scrawny. You should take the most time with this, filling in any of the black areas of this llama in with solid ink. Don't colour any black area in with your pencil or pencil crowns at the end. We fill it in with solid ink. Another top tip for you is when drawing the facial expression, don't be afraid to have a mirror in front of you and draw and look at your face for reference. Look at those eyebrows, look at the mouth expressions, look at the eyes. Remember to go very slow on the inking process because Unless you're drawing digitally, it's completely irreversible. And there you have it. Get your rubber at the ready. It's time to erase those manky uh, pencil marks. Don't be afraid to add any little details in with your pen. I'm just adding in a bit of volume to the fluff. It's time to go in to this llama now with your colouring in materials. I'm going to use some digital watercolours. You can use anything you wish. We're not just going to use one solid colour. We're going to add depth with different shades of each colour. So if you do have lots of pencil grounds or lots of felt tips, then go for it. So you can colour your llama in any colour you wish, so I'm going to use a nice brown for the body. You will find colouring in and drawing will really improve your mental state of mind. It's very useful for being mindful and escaping the world. The very magical thing about cartoon characters that you've created is the fact you've created them. Whether you like it or not, they're all an asset of you. They've all come from your mind. It's a world that you can control. In 
In the worlds of these cartoon characters, you are the king, the ruler of their world. Now I'm going to go over that brown we've just done with a slightly darker brown. This is going to add some depth in. I'm going to particularly go around the black outline of this llama. Just add in some shadows. Make him feel more three-dimensional. And then for his legs and his face, I'm going to use a different shade of brown all together. This is going to separate his face. I'm going to use more of a paler skin colour for this. You know, I think that's a bit strange on a cartoon animal to give him the colour of, of a pale skin. But it's not at all. Mickey Mouse is a mouse. And he's got pale skin. a very dark brown for his nose. Normally the darkest part of an animal can be its nose. I'm going to draw his eyelids in blue and his tongue is going to obviously be a nice shade of red. And his tie, I'm just going to go all out with green and red, contrasting colours there, will look really ugly. I'm just going to add in a bit of colour to this drawing because I want to. I'm not going to have any outline to this background because it will make the black ink really stand off the page. I'm just going to use a bit of green down at the bottom, which you can imagine will be grass. And blue everywhere else, I'm leaving a bit of white here and there to mark out where clouds and the sky will be. Now, we have completed our drawing, but no drawing is ever complete without getting your inking pen back at the ready, because every drawing needs to be signed. So get your pen at the ready. It's time to sign it. And there you have it. You have created your very own beautiful llama. Give it a name. I'm calling mine Gaza. That concludes today's drawing tutorial. In the meantime, keep doodling.